When you're driving a car, you are, of course, keeping an eye on everything. There's the road, the mirrors, the dashboard. Well, soon, there's going to be a spy in your sedan. As creepy as it may sound, your car is going to be watching you. And you better be paying attention. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. Most drivers love the open road. So the people at an Australian company called Seeing Machines have come up with a way to monitor drivers' attentiveness and to alert drivers if fatigue or distraction are detected, a technological tool to create a safer environment for everyone. This innovation is already widely used in the mining industry, known for drivers running long hours behind the wheel. And increasingly, it's used by fleets of big rigs. I wanted to experience it myself, so I hit the road, bound for Tucson, Arizona, to visit a Seeing Machines office, where I met up with company vice president, Nick Langdale-Smith. OK, so I'm driving. What happens as I start to fall asleep? OK, we beep, shake, and wake. When the system detects a, an issue, it's going to beep with the speaker, sound the alarm. It's going to shake the seat with a seat vibrator that's built in under that seat, and it's going to wake you up. So it'll literally jolt me. It absolutely will, yeah. There's a camera that's mounted on the dashboard with these infrared lights so that it sees in the dark. And then there's this computer, and that does all the heavy lifting, runs the image processing algorithm so that's looking at the driver's eyes and looking at the driver's head. And then if there is a problem detected, and only if there's a problem detected, it sounds the alarm. There is one more added layer of safety provided in the form of a call center that is staffed 24-7. If a driver has been awakened by the automated system, it may be necessary to follow up with that driver to assess whether he or she is in a condition to drive. The call center can reach out to the mine facility, for example, to let them know a sleep event has triggered the automated system. In the year 2000, these four men came up with Seeing Machines technology, and one of them, Timothy Edwards, joined us from Melbourne, Australia. Our technology is really about uh, the way we process the, uh, the images from the camera, how we interpret the video signals and turn that into an understanding of the driver's attention or the driver's uh, drowsing state. This pickup truck is equipped with the automatic system used in mining vehicles. So Nick and I took it for a test drive. The system's performing analysis. It's looking at your face 60 times per second. And it's making sure that you're doing the right I thing. It just jolted. You just jolted. So you turn to look at me. Wow. And uh, it's it's actually saying, hey, you should be paying attention to the road. I mean, that was I was looking at you for yeah, just well, a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. The folks at Seeing Machines also envision a future when a subtler version oh, of this technology could be used in cars. So we took a spin in this car, which is equipped with a camera and sensor only, no speaker or vibrating seat. What happens when I put these on? So the system, again, is running using infrared. And so we can essentially, in effect, see through the glasses. So we're looking at facial expression, eye gaze direction, mm -hmm. eyelid closure, head movement information, trying to turn this camera into a, a smart camera, an intelligent sensor, allowing the car to make better decisions. To allay fears that this technology is invasive, it's important to know it tracks behavior, not identity. Innovation designed to help us become smarter drivers in smarter cars. I think looking into the crystal ball, I mean, every car manufacturer and people involved in the trans transportation industry, they're all heading towards the idea of a zero accident society. And I'd like to be part of the creation of the, the crashless automobile or the, or the vehicle that is impossible to have an accident in. And who can argue that is something we'd all like to see?